Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Today, I want to come to you and talk to you about a uh, issue that's growing going on in the dating market right now. So um, a story came out recently about how a young woman went to church um, and she's in the church building. She, she comes up and she says that there's an issue where there are not a lot of options for um, for women in terms of single men. And, you know, ends up saying that it's a big issue right now that it's difficult for them to find uh, partners or dating mates and things like that. So um, in the video, the, the pastor goes ahead and he advises him that this is um, kind of an issue that's that's based upon perception. Um, many people are looking for one thing in particular and end up missing a lot of other options that are available. I'm going to go ahead and play a video here. We'll watch a little bit of this. We'll come back and talk about it and see how it relates to um, our own issues and how um, we can get over that moving forward. So we are in church and then like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody, you know. I say best to find somebody in Christ. In Christ, okay. Because right. it's not the same. But the problem that, I, that I've had and people that I know is that how can single women Find someone or meet someone. I'm gonna say fine. Meet someone when 90% of the church is uh, women, and then the 10% that are men are already married. Their wives are already there, usually. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we come do. here, come here, come here. Hey, no, 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 come here, for real, for real. Single man. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm. I'm not playing. I'm not doing that. I'm not. Do I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to do you like that. I want to make a point. If you're a single man, I want you to stand up. If you can physically stand up. If you're unmarried, I want you to stand up. All right. Now, if you're a single man, if you're a single man and you're in any one of our overflow rooms, please come over here real quickly. I just want to make a point. I want you to come in here. Uh huh. Now, <laughs> oh, that is so what's your name? What's your name? Huh? Okay, listen, 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 listen. See, when Danielle made the statement, the reason why I wanted to change the narrative is because it's extreme. Like she says, it ain't no men here, no men in the church, and 90% of them, 90% of us are women, and the other 10% of men who are in here are already married. I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? So you say, what I'm saying is, you see all of them? All you need is one. All right, perfect. So you see there, um, I recently did a video um, talking about how, you know, 60%, 60 to 63% of young men are single right now. And what's happening right now is that there has been an uh, image of what uh, a desirable man looks like. And this person, you know, like I said, this is a, a, he's six feet tall, makes six figures, and uh, I forgot what the last six was, but whatever. But um, it, it's something that that's moving forward, and that's that's happening right now. Is that many of the guys who are considered to be average are kind of being left with leftovers. Um, you could be doing everything right. You could be, um, you know, have a good car, make you know sixty thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, have your own place, investing and saving, and yet and still you're not considered to be someone who's really desirable. And what's happening a lot of times is that a lot of these young ladies have been trained to look for only these particular guys. Um, sometimes, you know, you know, there was a story um, about this. I'll link to it in, in the uh, comment section uh, for to watch it. And it talked about how, you know, guys are guys who are five foot ten are tired of know young ladies who are four foot nine telling them that they're too short and it, it's it's becoming sort of sort of an issue right now where it's um instagram and all these other things have given people this idea of what the perfect life looks like and we're hearing a whole lot about it right now about how a lot of young women who used to um lean into the whole you know boss chick life and things, things like that are now having an issue with it where they want to be in a committed relationship they want to have someone that they can love but they've been programmed to think a certain way. When I was 19 years old, I was with a lot of friends and we were, um, you know, kind of living life and hanging out. And I made a decision by the grace of God that I wanted to start focusing on becoming a husband. And so in the same way, they say, um, what you are today is what you decided to be five years ago. And as you're putting those building blocks together day after day, you end up making an overall product that is available and that's seen by the world five years later. And so in the same way, right? So if you're, if this young lady, she spent her last, 
how many years looking for this particular guy and you know this everything that that she's looking for all of her friends have told her about her mind is wired and programmed to see only that particular person so when other people come by then regardless of you know what they're doing they may be a little bit overweight they may be um making not as much money as they're supposed to they may not have a great title they may be working in a trade or something like that um you're not trained to see that particular person and as a result right now many people are, are having issues matching um one one to another it's going to be interesting to see how this gets resolved and how as we move forward into things many of the young men right now there's there's uh, reports coming out that many of them are not going into college um many of the young women are going into college and women generally um are seen not be willing to date those men who are don't have a college degree so it's an interesting process right now we see the video there it was made by a guy on tiktok who says get your passports ready fellas and you know while this is interesting and some people may be moving towards that i think some people want to to have a relationship with people who are in their culture people who are familiar with some things that they have gone through as well and the idea of going out i've seen people in, in my life who have gone to different countries bring people back and end up getting left as a result of it as once a person lands here and they're all settled then they're they're ready to go so um love itself is going to be a challenging subject and it's not something that is going to be a simple one two three um result uh but you know if you are looking if you are a christian you know, there are definitely women out there the bible says that you know houses and riches are from a father but a prudent wife is from the lord um, a lot of times we have to go to this thing in prayer marriage is a covenant by god and if we want to have his blessing, we need to ask him going into it. What is it that he desires for us, who it is that he desires for us and how exactly we can be a part of that process um, to make sure that we're joining um, into holy matrimony with someone who truly believes that there is God. So, you know, don't 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 be um, don't be, uh, you know, overwhelmed. Don't be confused by a lot of this. A lot of times, sometimes, you know, unfortunately, if you're in your, your mid 20s or something, you may need to just focus on your career for a while. And then once you get into that early, earlier age, you will have a choice now between young ladies who are, you know, if you're in your early 30s, you may have somebody who is 30 or 27 or something like that that you may be able to date um, and possibly uh, find as a life partner. Uh, but overall, you need to be, be patient, you know, have people around you who can who can um advice if this person is a good individual and i've heard a lot of people say you know i didn't want to bring my my fiance around and so i didn't want to bring the person i was dating around so i was engaged and my thought always was i need i need my family who i trust or friends or whoever to be able to see different aspects of that person and help me to see if i am um, truly seeing the person for who they are or if they're hiding different aspects. Um, you may be able to, to fake something to one person, but you're not going to be able to, to fake something to, to, to you know, 10 or 20 different people. Somebody's eventually going to see you. So um, overall, the Bible talks about having wise counsel, and I'm a firm believer in that. So if you're out there, you're dating, um, there are definitely options that are available. Be patient. Don't rush into anything. Um, if someone does not respect you as a person, don't allow yourself to be placed in that particular position. Um, you want to have someone who is willing to choose you because at the end of the day, you're going to have a lot of circumstances in your life where life is going to be difficult and they're going to have opportunities to run. You want to make sure that that person is committed to being with you and committed to serving the Lord as well. What are your thoughts on this? Please comment below, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day.